Hi, this is Tom Mira from World Class Coaching with this week's Animated Drill. This is a setup that I really uh, have enjoyed starting to use with my teams. If you've followed these posts, you know that uh, we've used a lot of Koji training with our teams. If, if you're not familiar with that, you can go back and, and have a look at previous videos where I talk about the Koji setup and the movement patterns with that. And this is a really simple, I just call it a double box. And I was introduced to it by uh, a couple of coaches in our club, and I've, I've seen some different combinations uh, in different videos from teams. And the way it's set up is it's a 20-yard square with players positioned in each corner. You have an inside, you have a five-yard square on the inside. And there's so much you can do with this, uh, just depending on what you're trying to accomplish. The very first thing that I did with my teams is just simple, having everybody go at the same time at the front of the line, and we're just dribbling from their spot, changing direction, and then dribbling back to their own line. So just doing some simple dribbling, changing direction. If you've got three players in each corner or even four players in each corner, uh, this moves very quickly and the players get a lot of touches. Uh, you could you know, change it further by having them come to a different cone out here so that as soon as this person changes direction, the next person can go. So you'll get even a quicker uh, transition between one player going in the next, or you can simply just have them change direction, dribble back to this line. And when this player is out of the way, the next player goes. And so we're working on change of direction moves, you know, whatever moves you want to work on there. So we, we did that just to kind of as a warm up. And this whole first phase is really a warm up. Then the next thing I want to do is I want to have the players performing fakes. So we'll have the player go at this cone, and you can either give them a move you want them to do, or you can allow them to be creative and come up with their own move. And they're basically doing a move and going to the next line. And this is just repeated all around the area. So we've got players in each corner going at the same time. And so we're getting a lot of involvement and a lot of player movement. And the players see other players coming at the same time too. So it, it's not just them going on their own. There's that you know, other players moving in their visual field, which is great because, you know, just being aware of the movement of other players. So very simple start. We do it that way. Then we'd obviously flip it around and they go at that cone and they do a move that takes them in the opposite direction. You can just say, I want a move that finishes on the left. So they can choose a scissors with their right foot and play away with their left. Or they could do a, a left footed spin turn or a Maradona. They could do a step over with their left foot and play away. However, they want to do it and be creative. If there's something specific you want them to focus on, you can definitely do that. The next thing we did is to have them actually go through that middle square. So to begin with, they're just going on the outside. But now what I want them to do is I want them to dribble into this square and then finish out on the other side. When they finish out on the other side, initially, I just have them go and, and complete their run to the, the line diagonal away from them so that as they get in the middle, they have to deal with the confusion and uh, the other players coming in and the pressure that those players bring. So initially, I'll just have them go through. Eventually, I'll ask them to perform a fake inside this area. So they use a move. Now they're going to have to change direction. So now they're going to have to even be more aware of where players are so that they're making sure that they change direction away from the pressure. And then the last kind of dribbling pattern that we did with this is to have them dribble in but when they dribble out, I want them to complete their run and finish uh, on the line on their left-hand side. And you can obviously do that you know, to the line on their right-hand side as well. But I want them to go through the square and I want them to go past the middle so that now they have to deal with each other. If they don't, they'll just kind of finish their move here and they'll, and they'll come out here safely into space, which is fine. You could let them do that. It's you know good awareness that they can do it before they get to the pressure, but I want them to have to deal with the pressure. So I want them to go past the center, uh, the center line basically that's made up of these two cones, perform their move, and then finish out on the other side. So kind of similar to circle drills in, in that respect where they're getting into the middle and then getting out. So, you know, that's a simple dribbling warm up uh, using this pattern and getting the players moving and getting them familiar, you know, with the moving from one line to the other. Now, the next phase 
we start to add passing options by putting players on these targets. And this is something I'm going to go to in depth on the podcast. So if you check out our Coaching Soccer Weekly podcast, I'll go over the entire training session I did with this format, including the passing and combination play that led on to the small-sided game and, and the scrimmage at the end. So give that a try with your teams.